gonna give Navi a nice chunk in that experience gra graph. And Havost actually opting for a drum before armlet. Interesting choice. He is gonna give him some more mana as well as attack speed and things like that. Light of Heaven now gonna go down, no choice in the matter. But he has an Aegis. Is he there's so the heroes are so far away though, he might go down again. And I don't think Bambo is gonna use a black hole on him, he's not even gonna have to. Oh! Invis, he's running away, he's being very tricky. And wow. Light of Heaven makes it out. And now Dendi has a blink dagger. And this is really important for a couple reasons. Uh, the biggest thing here is that it's going to give him the ability to blink initiate with either telekinesis or whatever he steals. Now with that Dendi has a blink dagger, he's going to be as dangerous as Sand King or Black Hole or Sand King or uh, Enigma if he can pick up one of those big abilities like Epicenter or Black Hole. Yeah, Dendi got morph. If you guys weren't didn't see that, <laughs> 1600 HP. And I'm I'll be curious to see. I think this goes away after you lose morph. I don't think it stays. We'll see though. Maybe it does. I was talking to Purge about this, and we weren't really sure. And oh wow. Oh okay, that's just an illusion rune. Level two phantasm now off cooldown for Chaos Knight. So he's looking for a fight. And he finds gonna find come with me. And Rubik gets split earth. Is in the middle here, still fighting it out. No, it stays. He still has 69 strength. Interesting. So then he's now gonna have a ton more strength. And now this might be the initiation. Dendi moving in here. He does still have the split earth. Is going to get Burrow Strike. You come with me going off with the epicenter. And it looks like they're going to kill him very badly. They're going to lose one hero here. And Puppy's going to go down. Broodmother getting a double kill. Triple kill. Oh, my God. So much damage coming out for Dendi. And now they're going to get a nice black hole. But Dendi stole it, but he doesn't have enough mana to cast it. And now he wants it. He wants it so bad. He's not going to get it right now. He's going to have to go home. But he does have Black Hole now. Black Hole and a Blink Dagger. It could be trouble. Arsar going to get caught on the way out. And that fight actually went well for Mouse. There was a couple buybacks, so it's pretty even. Uh, I think Navi made out with a slight advantage. They also grabbed a tower, so that helps them. Now, Dendi with that Black Hole is going to be looking for some big plays. Big, big, big plays. So hopefully I'll be saying Black Hole soon, but for Dendi, because that is my favorite when that happens. It's so sick. One of those things that you hope will always happen in a game you're casting. Black has zero manas. Looks like he's going to be going for a mana style first. Farming away here. And he actually has a ton of levels and strength. Because he's in the jungle right now. Dendi's still chilling. Still has Black Hole as well as that Yules and a Blink Dagger. And Venomancer are actually going to deny that double damage rune as there's no one in position to take it. That would be advantageous. So he just takes it away from Navi. Morphling making a replicant so you can make him a safe escape if he needs it. Now they're going to have to stun lock Black and able to, to kill him. Uh, but a Black Hole could definitely do that. Puppy is not too high of a level yet. Uh, not 11 quite yet. Phantasm about to be off cooldown again, so this might be the cue for Nobby to move in. 70 seconds of cooldown still for Black Hole. Boast finishing up his armlet soon. Arsart still has some dust, and now it looks like Mouse is going to be aggressive on this mid tower. And is Navi going to attempt to defend it? They pop the glyph. So perhaps there's no TPs on several heroes, though. And now Mouse is going to smoke and maybe try to kill Light of Heaven. And 
We know he's there from that parade of spiders. And Nami, it looks like, wants to catch someone on the way out, but Mouse is taking the long way home and then perhaps cycling top. TP's on... <sighs> only Dendi. So they're going to have to foot up there if they want. And Light of Heaven now building a BKB. Navi moving through the jungle as quickly as they can. Walking is only so fast. But we'll ha we'll, we're able to get up there to stop that tower from going down. And the only issue for Dendi is spell steel is running out soon. That's not true. It's 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 running out pretty soon. It lasts for five minutes. Telekinesis initiation here on black, and now he's just gonna head out. Doesn't want to put himself at risk. And now Navi is looking for the fight. Armlet's finished. BKB is finished, so they're going to try to get a tower here, and if Mouse tries to fight, they're going to try to destroy them. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to attempt to push this tower out, and when Mouse comes to engage, they're going to try to get a wipe. Oh no, Black Hole's gone. Then he's not going to be able to use that. So that's actually a big disadvantage for that fight now. The good news is that it's off cooldown, so we can steal it if he has to. And now Nabi is lining up. What's Mao's going to do in response? There are TPs on everyone but come with me up here. And Nabi is taking this tower completely uncontested. Mao's going to trade for the middle tier 2. And TPs from Havost going to come out, and that might force them to back up. Puppy coming over. AA ulti is going to sail in, but all of Mao's has left. And with that tier 2, almost Mao's is almost out of towers right now, and we're nearing the 7,500 gold lead. XP lead around 5,000 for, for uh, Nabi. Blink Dagger up on Sand King. It's going to give him obviously a good initiation. That is an illusion, not the real one. Morphling has a mana style. Give him some extra DPS. We'll see where he goes next for items. Shotgun obviously is a very common choice. Puppy now finally level 11. Going to give him Bit of a stronger impetus. And I believe that Navi is going to want to force a fight soon. Because this is when Chaos Knight starts becoming extremely strong. Mao's moving in. They get the Gale off on Black. There's the Phantasm. AA initiation is there. They Leshrac is putting out as much damage as possible. But getting d brought down very quickly. Dendi able to help assist in the kill. AA gets the kill. And now three down. For Maus with zero getting killed for Navi. Oh wow, Dendi got Poison Nova. That's a really great spell. And now Telekinesis and Black's gonna die. Three seconds done as well. And we'll see if they try to grab Come With Me. I imagine they're probably gonna try to push into Raxir. Traded none for four. So now Navi with a pretty commanding lead. Several team fights in a row that have gone very poorly for Maus. And now it looks like we are going to see Navi start pushing in. This push a little later than they want, but you got to take them when they come. And this team fight is going to do it. It looks like they're going to try to defend. Come with me, Siri. Does have Epicenter off cooldown. There goes the tower. Are they going to be able to get the racks? Watch this space for Come With Me. Is he going to try to do it? And there's the channel. Oh, but then he cancels it with Telekinesis. That's huge. That's an enormous chunk from their defense. Completely gone now. Come with me. Going to get brought down instantly. But there's a huge black hole from Bamboo. He catches four heroes. 
Can they do enough damage to finish it? And he Malefists immediately to try to make it so he doesn't get it. But now Dendi also has Epicenter and there's five down for Mouse. It looks like Navi is going to take this Drax and perhaps the game. Navi with two great fights in a row. Dendi with Telekinesis to cancel the Epicenter. Oh. Oh, Mouse. Come with me. You can't do it that far away. You gotta go further back, man. He was like right here. For going right here. Man, do it like way over here or something. Not next to all of them. And now Nabi is gonna take double racks, and double racks is extremely hard to come back from. There's still a range of racks left mid, but they can probably rotate around there and grab it on their way out if they want. And with this, they are gonna probably grab Roshan. And who's got that cool stuff coming from them in the courier? Up and there's the Roshan. No, Navi gonna move in on Roshan. And Dendi proving that he's a force to be reckoned with with Rubik, and now he's building towards a sheep stick. Blade of Heaven gonna get the solo XP from this Roshan kill. As Maus is looking like they're thinking about engaging. Black hole not up. Epicenter gonna be up in a second here. Phantasm ready to go. AA's got his ult, and now they're gonna initiate. And uh oh. Uh -oh. Venomancer died pretty quick. Bambo blinking over. Puppy now doing a lot of damage with Impetus. The more he runs, the more damage he's going to take, and he's going to die. Enchantress going to get the kill. Dendi assisting with that. Light of Heaven now going to initiate on Come With Me. Sound sticks here. A ult is going to come in and just miss. Very close. Chaos Knight now has a BKB, so that's going to let him stand there and just whack the crap out of anyone. And now they're going to finish off this mid racks, and it is going to be double racks against them. And nice play by Black. Waveforms in there, and then instantly goes back to his replicant. A little bit risky, but now this tower is going to go down. All the towers are down outside of the base for Mouse, and an epicenter going off from Dendi. <laughs> and no, he grabbed Wards. He almost thought he grabbed Poison Nova. And now the gold lead is huge, almost 20k, almost 20k XP as well, that double racks, probably an insurmountable disadvantage here for Maus, they're going to do their best, and there's another black hole by Bambo, but he's going to have to follow it up immediately with something else, and there's the Midnight Pulse, so Dendi's not going to be able to steal the black hole, and he is actually going to die, but Light of Heaven now going to BKB up, Leshrac trying to put out as much damage as possible, but Broodmother, the story here, is putting out a ton, and Navi actually gets three for three for one here. Not a great trade for them, but Puppy might be able to make it out. There's the Burrow Strike. And nope, Hero's converging on him. He's probably going to go down. So it's going to be four for one against Na'Vi, but they still have the double racks advantage. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, nope. It's just not fair. Light of Heaven's still present, though. Going to continue being really annoying and make it so they can't leave this lane unattended because if they do, he's just going to push in and racks. And in game number two, Navi is looking good. And it looks like we might be headed to a game three for round one of the winner's bracket. Black going to continue farming up. It's not over for Mouse by any means. It's really hard now. But if Mouse, but if uh, Black rather can pick up a shiny shotgun. And wow, that doesn't even reset after he dies. That morph is permanent. Interesting. And now Light of Heaven and Navi, the crew, looking to be very aggressive here. 
And the A ult actually, oh, still going to get come with him even though he's invis. A gets the kill on the Leshrac. And now Maus is running around to the bottom. But Navi hot in pursuit. And Dendi has Edict. And now it looks like Kavos is going to get the initiation here. And come with me coming in with a pretty nice epicenter. But a mechanism is going to help prevent all, or recoup all of that damage. And now there's tons of damage going out right now. We saw the AL sell in. And just now is the Phantasm Broodmother getting a double kill. 1437 looking dead as all hell. Black going to go down as well. And there's the GG. And Navi takes game two in a convincing fashion. So we are going to be going to game number three. And Navi versus Mouse for the Star Ladder winner's bracket. And Navi just getting a huge gold lead and... Mouse not really any doing anything to come back from it. Now this fountain is going to go down. Radiance Ancient is under attack. And there goes the Ancient. Victory. Dendi also dominated that big that mid lane. Another big difference. So there's a win for Navi in game number two. We're going to three. In Star Ladder Finals, I'm What is Hip. You can see more from me at whatiship.tv. I'm a Ghost of Gamers caster. You can also check out ghostofgamers.net for a great information on all current tournaments. See you soon.